Hello, I'm Stephen. I'm the artist behind Harold Black, uh, which is the business I set up uh, in 2014. Um, I'm a printmaker. I mostly use uh, monoprint and collagraph uh, to produce work. And I wanted to talk today a bit about my art practice. Um, but I realised that say monoprint and collagraph may not be terms that, that a lot of people are familiar with. So I was going to show some, ex talk through some, some examples of my work, um, and hopefully that would give a better understanding of the, the processes and the techniques involved. The technique I use uh, the most is monoprint, um, and for that I use a thin acrylic printing plate, uh, which gets covered with ink using a roller so that it's a very thin and even layer of ink and I will just use just paper cut stencils to mask out areas on the print. So once this is covered with ink and the stencils have been placed onto the paper it then goes through the print press and it's the pressure from the print press that will transfer the ink onto the paper. Um, I will generally have a second printing plate for a different colour, so one will be in blue, one will be in yellow, and then the layers will gradually be built up over time. I like to use the monoprint technique because it allows me to create um, an individual print uh, every time. As you can see, there are no etched marks on this, so there is nothing repeated uh, on the prints that I make. Um, and as you can see, prints in the series then will be unique. Uh, each one will be an individual. The paper mask areas may be repeated in it, but they'll be used in a different configuration and in a different layout. So you, it results in a series of work rather than uh, an addition of the same print. And you will see that they're numbered like that as well. So it's the first print in an edition of one. I also produce a range of uh, poster prints and these are scans of my original mono prints um, and they will be in a different colourway from the original so that it is not a direct copy but it exists as a, as a separate and a brand new piece of work. The um, poster prints are a more sort of affordable and accessible uh, piece of artwork. I use a notebook a lot. Uh, this helps me plan out uh, how my prints might look. Uh, I'll often sketch from photographs. So this is one of the Ulster Museum uh, and it's a building that I've referenced uh, quite often uh, in different series of, of works. Um, and then I will sketch from the photograph. Uh, these will then get converted into sort of shapes or stencils or motifs so you can see that this shape here has become this card stencil and I'll use um, packaging, old packaging, uh, say food packaging and things, so stuff that would be um, generally thrown away. So it's not a very specialist or uh, expensive equipment, it's stuff that, that I can access easily. Um, but the, the interesting thing about those is that it has these sort of fold lines that transfer quite nicely uh, when you're making a print. Uh, and then generally, as I say, it'll be this that gets covered in ink, uh, goes through the print press, and then the print is taken. Uh, I've had to uh, adapt the way I work uh, during lockdown because I haven't had access to the print studio, uh, which has meant that, say, the drawings that would have been done on a card, um, the little, these little pieces now become the piece of work. So I've started to make more collages um, because I don't have access to the studio and I have to make uh, more work from, uh, from home. These collages are, are almost like uh, little templates or little test pieces for, for my mono prints. Um, already I can see this is helping me work out shape, composition, colour uh, and so when I go back to the print studio uh, once, once lockdown is over uh, I'll be able to use this collage as a template for making some new mono prints uh, because there are 
different shapes and stencils then that I can take from the collages that will help me uh, when I get back to the print studio.